Now, if you're a Windows and Mac user like me and want to create a hybrid desk setup, one where you don't have to plug and unplug your devices to switch systems, let me show you how I created mine. For this setup, you'll need a monitor. Now, I'm a two monitor girl. I like having the extra screen space when I work, but that's a personal preference. This setup can be used with one or two monitors. Just make sure your monitor has multiple connection ports. The monitors that I use in my desk setup are a 24 inch Dell monitor and a Samsung M8. The Samsung M8 works so good with this hybrid setup that I want to get another one. This monitor comes with the remote and is built for multi-system so switching between my two is quick and easy. But don't worry, the Dell monitor can also switch between the system with just a few more steps. For my setup, I'm using a Windows laptop and a Mac Studio. This setup can also work with two laptops. In fact, that's the way I started off before I upgraded to the Mac Studio. And they don't have to be on separate sides of the desk like I have it. But for me, it makes it easier cord wise to have them that way. I'm using a Dell Thunderbolt docking station for connection. Now a docking station is a device that expands your computer's ports so you can connect multiple monitors, storage devices, or plug-in accessories. And the thing I love about the docking station is that I can disconnect and connect everything to my work laptop with one USB-C cord, making it easy to use my laptop as a laptop or in this setup. Now a Thunderbolt docking station is also used for connection and it moves data really fast and carries video, audio, and power through one cable. A Thunderbolt docking station basically provides faster data and better performance than a standard USB dock. You want to make sure that both your mouse and keyboard can connect to multiple devices so you can switch them back and forth. I'm using the Logitech MX keys and the MX Master 3S because they both have buttons that let you switch between three devices. Now you will need cables to connect everything and I'm using two HDMI cables and two display port cables. If you're using one monitor then you will only need one of each. Make sure that the cords match the ports that you're going to use. For example, do you need a USB-C or a USB? Before you purchase cords, make sure you map out what's going where and connecting to what. Now let's talk about how everything connects together. Both of my monitors are plugged straight into my Mac Studio using HDMI cords. Now the Mac Studio only has one HDMI port, so one of my cords is an HDMI to USB-C. I also have both monitors connected to the docking station using the display port cables. So now when I wanna use the monitors with either one of the systems, I just select the source to switch between them. On the Samsung monitor, I can use the remote and change the source or the system. And on the Dell monitor and this is how it would work on any other standard monitor. I use the controls at the bottom of the screen to go to the settings and select the display that I want to use, like you would on a TV when you select between devices like your Fire Stick and PlayStation. Now someone asked about my cord management and it's not pretty up under here, but it works. So if you're looking for aesthetics, this, this, this ain't it. This is not it, but it works and that's all that matters, right? So for my cord management, I basically have all of my cords tied together and taped to the top of the desk. For a power source for all the equipment that I use on my desk, I have two trays that are attached to the legs. This desk is a sit stand desk. So the legs were separate from the top. The top of the desk is a butcher block and I have the legs, the mechanical legs, so it can lift it up and down to be a sit stand desk. So the legs that I have with this desk have two trays. The two trays that are with the legs, I've attached two power strips to them and I use them to plug up everything that's on the desk. All the cords are tied together using Velcro strips and I'll put them up so you can see them. Then I use these, it's a cable management clip and it has an adhesive on the back. So this sticks to the top of the desk. And then once you have your cords wrapped with that Velcro, you can stick the cord in this little open slot and secure it and it'll hold it up for the most part. Sometimes they fall down like, I don't know if you can see like that. Sometimes they fall and I just go back in and re-stick it to the top of the desk. And if the glue wears out, you get like 50 of them. So you can easily replace this Every time they stop sticking, I just put another one up there and that's how I stick my cords up. So it's organized chaos under the bottom of my desk, but 
it works. And then for the docking station and the Samsung monitor has a block on the power cord. There's like this little box. So I took some heavy duty command strips and stuck them to the top of the desk too. So they're glued to the top of my desk. Everything's basically stuck to the top of the desk and that's, that's just it. That's how it works and it works for me. It's, it's simple. I'm sure there are better ways that I could do it. Please don't come for me in the comments. It's been working for me and I stuck with it literally stuck that's it y'all that's everything i did to create this hybrid desk setup let me know in the comments if you have any questions or you can reach me on my inbox on instagram that way if you have any questions and want to send pictures i can help out as much as i can all right y'all till next time